Boom! What's up you guys? Byron Rogers here and I am making another video. One question, just one question for you. Got a little something on my shirt there, but whatever. One thing. What is your one thing? Just one thing. What is the one thing you can do in life that'll make your life worth it? What's the one thing? Just one thing. If you were going to pick What's the one thing you could achieve? If you could you could just pick what's the one energy that you want to bring? What's the one thing that if you did this one thing, your whole entire life would really like be worth it? What is that thing? It sounds may sound cheesy or like, you know, just 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 I don't know, off the wall or spiritual or hypey, but like really this is your one life and it's not a stinking game. You know, if you think it's a game, ask yourself why nobody makes it out of here alive. What's up, Alex? Good to see you, man. Um, but figure that out. This is our one life. This is our one chance. What one thing do you want to achieve? For me, hey, what's going on, Rufus? Good to see you. For me, my one thing is freedom. I want freedom, man. I don't want to be stuck in any position where I have to do anything because as I'm able to have that freedom, I understand that freedom intrinsically, it, 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 it intrinsically comes with responsibility. But I want and love that responsibility because what I'm going to do and what I do do with my freedom is I empower people. And that's the energy that I try to bring to any in every single um, interaction that I have with someone on, a, on, a, on an everyday basis with everybody that I talk to. And that because that comes from my authentic self and my, my you know, the deeper parts of me, uh, that empowerment, that gets me on a different economy. And so I get an emotional payoff when I do that because it's in alignment with my authentic nature and just who I am. But that's me. Boom. My one thing. One thing is I want freedom. That's what I want. And it doesn't have to be like a whole life thing. But right now, even in your present purpose, as you look around in your life, what's the one thing life is asking of you right now? I'm sitting here making this video to to send you know a, a, a texture of consciousness, a stream of consciousness, a, a a a a chain, an algorithm of thoughts at you to cause you to become more self-aware, more self-aware in this moment, and to help you really bring more deliberation to your life. What's the one stinking thing you want out of your life? What is it? And even more appropriately, what's the one thing, given the situation, where you're at in life right now, what's the one thing you want? Because I can tell you this, once you understand the one thing you want, then you can adopt multiple different um, tactics and strategies. Your whole game plan to get what you want can become more and more fluid. But also, as you understand the one thing you want within your present purpose or the one thing you want within your overall life, that sense of, of inner knowing, that sense of awareness, that really like guiding star, that magnetic north, that, that, that trajectory that you can get yourself on is going to help you do something that's extremely important. And that's going to be unlock fulfillment. And once you know what you need to do, what you want to do, what you can do in life that's going to make your life what, worthwhile or help you get what you want to get out of life right now, once you know that, and you begin doing things on a daily basis to get that to happen. What happens? Boom. You start to experience fulfillment every single day. If you know what it is you want, then no matter what you're doing, whether you're a stinking, I mean, whether you're a multimillionaire CEO of a big company, you're a janitor, you're a missionary, you're a sports player, you know, no matter what you're doing, if you know you're moving towards your one thing, if you're in the back and no one ever sees you and you're, 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 you're stacking boxes, if you know that that's you doing the best you can to get towards your one thing, to get closer to your one thing, then guess what? You're going to lay your head down at the end of the night. You're going to put your pillow on your, your head on your, put your pillow on your head. No, you're going to put your head on your pillow and you're going to get to experience that feeling that comes from knowing that you put your best foot forward to get what it is you want out of this life. And that's one of the best things that I thought that I could maybe give you today is just that realization, that conceptuality that like, hey, you know, I think a lot of people out there are struggling or experiencing a lack of fulfillment in life. And I believe that that comes from really a, a, a lack of purpose in life. 
Um, when you don't know what your purpose is, you don't know how to do any, you don't, you don't know what to do that's going to actually bring you fulfillment. Um, and what do we do with things that we don't know the purpose of? I'm going to wrap it up right after this. What do we do with things we don't know the purpose of? You find something in your house, you don't know what the purpose of it is, what do you do with it? Uh, it gets misused, right? You're trying to hammer nails in with the back of a screwdriver, right? It gets misused, it gets abused, right? And then it gets eliminated, right? And you throw it away, honey, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, what this is either. Oh, must not be valuable. And you throw it away because you can't perceive the purpose of it. You can't perceive the purpose of it, so therefore you don't see value in it. And I think that's what's taking place in America and in so many people's lives because they're not purposeful, they're not deliberate, because there's so many distractions on TV and in the world to teach us that we're not good enough and that to teach us that we need to you know, do what other people think we need to do or buy this or whatever, 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 but to stop us from going inside to see our own value. And when you don't know the purpose of your life, there's a good chance you're misusing your life. And if you're misusing something, it's not fulfilling its purpose. Therefore, you're trying to put the circle in the square spot, right? It's, 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 it's misuse and abuse is what actually happens. So how do we fight that? We start becoming more deliberate. We become, become more aware and we become more purposeful. So what's your one thing? And once you figure it out, Boom, put it in the comments below, and I'd love to just talk with you guys about them, get excited about it, maybe even strategize on how to go about making it happen. And um, until the next video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hit you back on these comments. You can find me at ByronRogersMotivation.com, and I'm going to be here to help you find your purpose, live with power, and reach your destiny. Love you guys. I hope you're having an awesome day, doing the best you can with what you've got out there. Later.